Hi there, my name is Aguilito. Today I'd like to teach you how to play I Want You Back by Jackson 5. So first, I'm going to explain about chords and later I'm going to tell you about the strumming pattern of this song and lastly, I'm going to teach you the this one. Um, you can use this as an introduction of the song. Anyway, let's get started with the chords. The first chord you need to know is A minor. By the way, I put low G string on this ukulele, but it's, you know, the chords are the same with high G ukulele as well. So don't worry about much about the chord shape, it's the same. So first chord is A minor. So with your link finger, on the second fret of the top string. That's A minor. The next chord is C. With your link finger on the third fret of the bottom string. That's C. The next chord is D. With your point finger on the second fret of the top string. With your middle finger on the second fret of the third string with a link finger on the second fret of the second string. That's D. So the next one is E minor. With a point finger on the second fret of the bottom string with your link finger, sorry, middle finger on the third fret of the second string with your link finger on the fourth fret of the third string. That's E minor. The next chord is G. With a point finger on the second fret of the third string, you know, from the bottom. And with your middle finger on the second fret of the bottom string, with your link finger on the third fret of the second string. That's G. Well, that's all core you need to know. But, okay, here, I'd like to test you with your calls. I'm going to tell you the calls, so I want you to make that chord as quickly as possible. Here you go. The first chord, C. The answer is this one, C. The next chord, um, E minor, this one. How about D? Yes, it is. This is the D. A minor. Yes, this is A minor. How about G? This one. Okay. If you couldn't like form the chords as quickly as I did, then you should return to the you know tutorial and learn how to play each chord because it's very important because this song calls moves very fast so I will show you what I mean um, okay here it is let me tell you now then You see, it moves really quickly, so you have to be able to like form each chord quickly as you can. All right, so now we'll move on to the strumming pattern of this song. As an example, I'm gonna use G, this chord. Anyway, so this is a pattern. Down, 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 up. This is the pattern. But if you don't have time, you can just play strum. Just down, 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 down. That's fine too. If you have to change quickly, just strum once. Then if you have some time to play, strum, like down, 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 up. Okay? That's how it works with right hand. 
Now move on to the introduction part, the you know iconic. This introduction. Uh, basically, what I do is put a pinky on the twelfth fret, sorry, tenth fret of the first string, uh, with your point finger on the seventh fret. You know, just bar the seventh fret. And if you play like this, sounds like this. But if you loosen your power on your link finger, it mutes the strings. But with a pinky, put it there as firm as you can. So this note just stand out. Mute, mute, mute. Uh, tenth fret of the first string. So. This is basically how it sounds if you just strum. So, and you have to down, just improvise. This is how it works. It sounds like original, you know, song. If you want, yeah, if you want, it's that, that's optional. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to, okay? So that's the old tutorial, and I will show you how it goes in a real speed. If you think it's too fast, you can go to setting of this video, change speed to 0 0.5 or 0 0.25. Ooh, let me tell you now. Ooh, when I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. These pretty faces always make you stand out in a crowd But someone pick you from the bunch when glass was only two Now it's much late for me to take a second look Oh baby give me one more chance Show you that I love you Won't you please let me Back in your heart Oh darling I was blind you let you Let you go baby But now since I see you in his arms I want you back how was it? I think it was too fast. So if you want to like slow it down, you can actually on YouTube. If you have iPhone and watch this video on your iPhone, you can go to this side, I think, this side, and click the three dots. And you can go to the setting and it says speed. So you can just click the speed and you can change the speed to like 0 0.5 or 0 0.25. Okay. Well, you see these three dots up there, right? And if you click that, you can find this playback speed. So you can just click that and change the setting. And if you have the PC and if you see this video on PC, then you can go to the this left side corner. Yeah. To you, it's right side. Sorry, it's right side corner and click the gear mark then you can find speed so you can change the speed there as well just so you know the one with hd like this you know like yeah 0 0.5 or 0 0.25 then you can change the speed of this you know video but great thing about youtube is even if you slow down the video the sound won't change meaning if you speed up a video to 0 0.5, usually this you know sound will be one octave lower. But YouTube doesn't do that, so you know you can play the same chord, but you can enjoy the video slowly. So that's the beauty of YouTube. So why don't you use it if you have? So that's a tip from me today. Anyway. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like have any comments or recommendations or requests, you can write down in the comment section down below. I think I will do my best to like bring it out, I mean carry it out. So I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.